Hello, I am Rutpal, I am a graduate student at RPI and today I will be talking about our study on ground for liberal voltages for inverter based resources. We will begin with some theory. For synchronous generators, uh, it, it is known that whenever single line to ground fault occurs, the voltage level of the unfaulted stages can exhibit an over voltage of up to 73%. This is theoretically explained in this slide. However, for inverter based sources, the situation is different. Since inverter based sources are sometimes modeled as mostly constant current sources, they should not be showing any sign of ground fault over voltage. Even when we model the inverter based sources as constant power sources, the ground fault over voltage should not exceed 22% theoretically. This gives rise to the question should we use the same type of protection for both case 1 and case 2? To answer this question, we ran some real time simulations. The hardware we used was Typhoon Hill 604. So, this is a hardware setup in our lab, and over here we are giving some details of uh, the actual simulator we used. Uh, it has some input output interfaces, and through those interfaces, we can connect it to an external controller such as this one. And the connection between the controller and the hardware the real time simulator hardware is shown on the figure on bottom right. It needs to be noted that we can ex run experiments with or without the controller. So there are two modes RT Hill and CHIL. RT Hill does not require the controller. Uh, for the remainder of the study, for this presentation, we will be constraining ourselves into RT Hill simulation. So now we will describe what system we implemented to test ground for some ground for world voltage scenarios. We took a simple 500 kilowatt capacity system with a generator, some 3 mile long AAC conductor based lines and a PV system. Oh, both of them were sharing a 500 kilowatt load. Uh, we are showing the location of the fault and the breaker which is used to clear the fault over here. And in order to ensure that the fault occurs at the highest point of voltage to make sure we see the highest over voltage and the breakers open at the zero crossings of the currents, a, a sm small algorithm was introduced and all this implementation has been carried out on Typhoon's proprietary softwares. Uh, on bottom we can see the library used is a small part of the schematic and some of our real time schedule measurements. Now we will show some preliminary results. So we assume that the generation of the PV was 500 kilowatt and the load was 500 kilowatt and when we applied the fault and after a few cycles the breaker operated just after the breaker operation we can see that there was some over voltage and the over voltage was about 9 to 10 percent which is significantly lower than the 73 percent of synchronous generators and uh, to further explain this fault uh, for to for if further explain this over voltage we uh, did a preliminary sequence analysis and we can see that the positive sequence voltage reduces during the after the breaker opens and the negative sequence and zero sequence pattern also changes. Uh, the inverter eventually shuts down for over frequency. So our main concern of interest is basically the time between the breaker operation and the inverter disconnection. And we can see for a generation to load ratio of one the over voltage is about nine percent. So what if we vary the load? So instead of just uh, showing a result of GLR of 1, we are showing a generation to load ratio of 0.4 to 1.1. And we can see that the over the uh, pattern of the over voltage at non-faulted phases mm, very closely follow the IEEE standard. And even mm, we this further uh, affirms our mm, hypothesis that the over voltage is definitely much less than the uh, synchronous generators and the behavior is somewhat different than synchronous generators. So maybe we need to use different kind of protection mechanisms. So what next? We need to add the controller, we need to check for inverter spot settings, we need to do a detailed sequence analysis, much more detailed sequence analysis and we need to add some grounding transformers and 
do some experiments with different control algorithms and their effects on the ground fault over voltage and so we'll keep on keep on working on it thank you for listening